Well guys, we finally made it after many months of <laughs> scrapping and doing other things that didn't have anything to do with mining. We're up here. We can actually see the forest. The forest looks pretty good. It looks like a winter forest, you know, a lot of dead stuff. A lot of green trees, a lot of dead trees. Matter of fact, one right above my truck there is broken off the top. So we're going to go look for a spot. We'll be back. Well, guess what? There's water, running water up here. It's been a long time since we've been up here where there's running water. Lots of cobbles. That's a good thing. And if you look over here into the creek, there's water everywhere. You can, if you listen real careful, you can hear it. Ah, uh, this is awesome. It's been a long time and we're ready to go. Okay, we'll be back when we're moving equipment. Okay guys, we got the stuff we're going to use out of the truck. This is the uh, tools. We're doing the high banker today. The geo, hot geo banker. The battery and everything there and the packs are in the truck. And there's the mining crew. Both of them. Uh, it's a female mining crew, by the way. <laughs> so, I don't know what to say about that other than they both work hard. Welcome. So. Wish us luck. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, wish us luck. Uh, it's been a while, but we're both in great shape, so I think we'll, we'll do just fine. We'll be back. Well, right, guys, this is how you do it when you don't have a dredge. You screen material into a bucket and you carry it clear over here, well, 10 feet over to the geobanker. And here we're set up with the battery, pump in the water, pump a screen, and uh, this is, I have this set up on a switch. So there it looks. Nice even flow everywhere. Everything's looking really good. Pump's got a uh, filter on it so we don't pick up any trash. And uh, all is good. All right, be back. Okay, so we're in this bank uh, this time out. And uh, this is a lot of different size packed rock, bigger rocks and flat rocks. And it is a lot of, it has a lot of gravel in it that's good bringing for the black sand. So I'm just frost, I'm just taking this off of here. I'm going to get it down, and then I'll take it over to the bucket and uh, sluice it off, and then we'll run it through the geo sluice. This is kind of interesting when you see things like this in here. There's been some something that's been rusty there. It's kind of a reddish, reddish color there. So uh, let's just hope there's some some stuff in it. Okay, some gold pieces. There will be. All we'll right. be back. About a half a five. Okay, everybody, Chuck starting off. This is January 30th, I believe, of 2024. And we're back up in the Bradshaws, running our geosluice. What a good feeling. Awesomely blessed day up here. The, the weather's warm and sunny. And we're going to try to find a little bit of gold today. I'll see if I can step over here and get a better shot of this unit when it's running. Nice looking material. And it's got a nice gravel, a lot of black sand in this um, area. It's got a lot of larger and smaller rocks that got packed in on this bench. So a screen half inch minus. Okay. There he is, there's a happy uh, a C a part of CNS mining. We're going to have a great day. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, I guess I didn't get enough dirt oh, dug. So, but what's kind of neat here, look at how these ripples, ripples aren't like our three-inch suction dredge, which we love. It's our favorite way of, of cross-cutting. See how that just, that's a really small ripple, but that's holding a lot of black sand. And we hope a couple 
nice pieces of gold in that. But it's even a wonderful sound to hear this water running and be out in the fresh air here today. Nikki's up there somewhere. So, okay. Okay, I'm going to show you something else here. I don't know if Chuck's already got this, but here's the little pump that runs up to the top spray bar. It cuts the old. Kind of a nice, easy process because we're getting a little bit older. And it's like we're not going to tell our age this year, but we're still, we're still able to do all this. Okay, I gave up the shovel to Chuck, <laughs> and it's his turn to do the shoveling, but man, your hands get a little cold washing them rocks off, even with gloves on. Still, still good fun to get out and get up here and look for some gold. Well, how, do you remember how we were saying this is a little bit easier than the dredging? Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> we're, we might be thinking twice about that after today because we haven't been out. But you got to chop and break those boulders down and small rock down in there. And then you got to shovel it and then and bring the rock over here to the screen and bucket with water in it and wash all that off. So... Where man, if you had this nozzle in that and the spray bar, we could be going to town. We'd be clear to bedrock by now. But Chuck's doing an awesome job here. Yes, he is. Look at <laughs> so March 16th, everyone, we're going to do 56 years. We figure we've been about 36 of those years digging for gold, moving rocks around having lots of friends and family come out and enjoy this desert and some of the mountains up here in Arizona. So hoping to get some, we're supposed to get rain all week, but the desert's going to be wet for a while, so we'll be back down there soon, we hope. I guess I'm not doing my job. I'm supposed to be washing those rocks off, but yeah. look at what a good job Chuck's doing there. Chuck's. I got to do it all as usual. Oh, stop. He usually lets me lead the way, so no complaining on our part for... Yeah, that way I never get in trouble if she's leaving. Well, he also makes a wonderful Valentine's. That day's coming up, just in case I'll remind him. Oh. It's February 14th, hon. <laughs> February 19th. 14th. Oh, 14. What's the matter with your hearing? I think it's the 16th. Well, that's March 16th, our anniversary. I'm talking oh. about Valentine's Day here oh. in February. So, uh oh, uh, our age is showing. <laughs> okay, love everyone, and we hope that your days are blessed like ours are. All right, guys, the mining partner's turn. Cheryl's up. She's run this before and knows all about it. So, you can see that spray bar is working really well. So, this is only our second bucket. Everything's running good there. Uh, this is my switch hookup that I made down there, so I can just switch it on and off with that. There's a little switch right there on the other side of that box. Right there. Oops. Yeah, right there. And the pump, okay. this pump is a 1100 gallon per hour pump. And it's working this machine really well. I mean, on the upper end here, let me get a um, too close. You can see how it comes through that punch plate when there's the little bumpy things up there in the header uh, kind of break up into little quads. And these are not regular riffles. These are, this is a drop riffle high banker. So there's no screen, there's no carpet. It's just the weight of the material going over these drop riffles at the angles that they're at. And it does just an amazing job. It catches everything. We, we've done this many times. 
you just got to make sure you're not running too fast. I'm, I'm at uh, about five and a half degrees on the sluice, and I think the punch plate at the top is maybe 10. And, every, and it's working good on top, and it's working good on the bottom, so looks good to me. All we got to have is go, and when we, we get ready to clean up, we'll be back. All right, guys, the tail's going to be in this tub. We just uh, cleaned out the geo uh, high banker. And that's all the material we got. And that was four fives, uh, partial fives. They weren't full fives. So we're going to use uh, these 11 inch pans. So it's just a little bit of material. And you can see it's all empty. Nothing in there now. Okay, we'll be back. That's all we can. And a lot in there. Really, yeah. There's a lot of heavies in that. I didn't think that was very much for all them shovel holes. Well, a lot of it didn't matter. There wasn't any gold in it, so we just kept the stuff that had gold in it. I just can't find a good one. Want to stay in the screen someday? I will feed the pants if I'm not. You can be Yep, when you get a little material, those are perfect. They don't have the aggressive riffles like the pro line pans have, but they catch gold. But you gotta have a good panner to do it. Not necessarily a speed panner, but a good panner. <laughs> oh. So we got both now. We got a speed panner and a good panner. That's why a safety pan is both. Wow, that's all the black sand for all them shovelfuls. Yeah, we'll save all that black sand though, and I'll run it on the table. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, Hey guys, first uh, bucket after lunch. Barrels up. Running some more material. Seems still running really good. With that Group 27 battery, this lasts forever. The Group 27 RV battery. It's just horrible to carry. And their great wisdom when they made that battery, they made a plastic little handle in the top of it that you got to carry it by. Then it just about breaks your fingers. But we don't care about that because we're getting gold. This is a, maybe our last bucket full. We might have one more yeah. after this one. Just checking out the dog over there. Nikki, she's kind of taking a little bit of a nap. There's not any lizards out yet for her to chase at this time of year. Alright guys, this is the uh, second cleanup. Uh, first one had a little bit in it and we changed direction a little bit so it's going to be better. Cheryl's going to get it. Okay. It's kind of lazy, lazy screening, isn't it? <laughs> Are you still filming? Yeah. Oh. Um, Hello everyone. I want to watch you do your thing. Um, I need uh, a small pan. Okay. 
Bro, 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 bro. I know that looks like gold there, but it's a white rock. Oh, I've lost a pan. So don't get excited. And there's a glare up here because there's a cloud came over. So I'm having trouble. See? See a little bit. Maybe I got a little too much. I'm going to go kind of, oh, there's a piece coming up. Yep, I see it. I don't know if you can all see that, but. It's a little. For us, for, for getting out for not getting out for a long time, it's better nothing. Oh, here we'll, comes a... We'll take them. They all oh, add up. a whole bunch. Yep. yep. Boots here. <laughs> okay, let me Thanks. get a little swing on it here. Oh, It'd be nice hey. if that white rock was one, but it's not. Well, oh, there's, there's some quite, nice little guys there. See them coming up, everybody? Yeah. Well, I don't know what it's going to look like on the video. Well, but it's a little hard to focus because there's some... And I'm jiggling. So little. Okay. Well, there's... So those... Yep. For a few shovelfuls, I guess we're. Oh, here we go. More. Some more. Oop, I'm, and more. I'm digging them down too far, but sometimes I have some left over here. All right. It went all over the place, so we'll get a better pan on that and yeah. get it in the. And we've get lost our sun now, so oh. it's oh. starting to chill out. <laughs> And one of my subscribers told me that sometimes when he goes out that he uh, only gets six cents worth of gold. And guess what? I think we got eight well, cents wait, worth of gold well, here. Well, just a minute here. Now, we got to end this video right. Since we're still filming, we're still I don't filming. know which clip this will be in. But, it uh, might be on the cutting table. We don't want to trip and fall. You know, after 56, I think we're doing okay for being up here almost 78 and 74. You said you weren't so going to say that. This year, so. I'm jiggling the pan, and they're watching a bunch of dirt float around in the pan. Okay, over and out for Chuck and Cheryl. So glad everybody could ch turn in and check in and see how we're doing once in a while. Everybody, God bless you all. And thank you so much for stopping by and, and watching this. Uh, it's not as exciting as it sometimes is, but uh, it was good anyhow. So thank you so okay. much for watching. Don't cut it. All right, guys, this is the final take of a few buckets. I think we ended up with four and a half buckets. Um, not real good, but not uh, bad. I'm not going to throw it back, but uh, we had fun. It was a, a good day. It was a little, a little cool, and now it's uh, snowy up in the forest. So uh, anyhow, there's, there's color to show for it, and here it is. Thanks so much for watching.